it's a little chaotic. I forgot to start the video or I forgot to record this before I started driving and I was just like, let me. Okay. I was like, let me, um, let me start recording so I can at least do the beginning and let y'all know what's going on, you know, before I get where I'm going. So welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for stopping by. If you are not new here, thank you for tuning in again. Um, today's video is going to be part one of my new DIY project, the new series, which is my home office. Um, sorry, I can't get over without my GPS, so y'all gonna have to deal with old girl. But yes, I'm starting my office today. So I'm on my way to Lowe's. I actually just left Walmart because I had to get some stuff for my dog, some stuff for my turtles. But now I'm on my way to Lowe's to pick up um, some paint so I can repaint. I'm also Turn I'm also doing paneling in this office. I've never done paneling before, but I've seen it and it looks like it's a fun time. So I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I'm gonna try the paneling and see um, if we can get somewhere. So. I don't really know what I'm doing. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm not like, you know, y'all know I do my DIY stuff, but a lot of times I don't be knowing what I'm doing. So today is one of those days. So I've done some research. I watched some YouTube videos. Girl, girl, okay. I've done some research, watched some YouTube videos. And so I have seen how the paneling is supposed to be done. And it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look like it's super duper hard. But um, yeah, I don't know. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna go to Lowe's and see if they have the molding that I need, um, the paneling that I need to be able to start this project. So that's what we're doing today. I may have to go to Home Depot too because, uh, sir, I know you better watch yourself. You Yeah, you see me sitting here. I have my little list of the things that I need, the things that I'm supposed to be getting and so, we're gonna see how this plays out. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today, actually. I wanted to start painting today. I always have like these big dreams and these big goals and then it's like, when it's time to do it, I'll be over it. Like this part, just getting started to figure out what I need and where I need to go to buy it, all of that has been like a thing. A thing for me, very stressful. I have, it's, the, I, yeah, I don't know. So yeah, on my way to Lowe's now, um, I could have went to Home Depot, which is actually closer. Well, one of them is closer, but from what I've heard, Lowe's has better prices and I've, I'm have i looking for a specific paint color. I wanna do like a Tiffany blue. It's one of my other favorite colors, but it's not like a, con I mean, I, it's becoming a common color because everybody loves Tiffany now. I think Tiffany blue and pink go really nice together. So that's the look I'm going for. I'm trying to do like a Tiffany blue and pink type of vibe and gold. Tiffany blue, pink and gold. That is my color scheme for the office. I'm gonna try to record as much as I can so you all can see what I am getting, so you can see the process or whatever. I also don't know. 2.3 miles. Turn left on Welsh Road. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know if I'll be able to fit these things in my car. <laughs> I never think this part through. I I yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. We'll see how this goes. I might just be looking today and then come back tomorrow um, with my mom's truck or something because I didn't think about it, but these pieces have to go in my car and I don't know how long they are. Like I know the total space that I need, but I don't know if I can like buy it in smaller pieces or if I have to buy like one large piece. And if that's the case, it's probably not gonna fit in my car. Huh. So yeah, I don't know. This might've been a waste of ride, but well, not a waste of ride cause I'll be able to look at some things and I probably can still buy paint today. Um, but I might not be getting my molding since they may not fit in my car. the color this is this is actually the color that I'm going with 
um, I don't know if this is the exact color, but this is the color. And then with um, pink accents, and then the other walls are gonna be white. So this is the color that I need to find. So I did have an idea of what color I was looking for just because I went online on Lowe's.com and they let you do a paint visualizer where you can pick which colors you want and see how they look together. So I knew I was looking for a specific, um, I guess, bluish color <laughs> that resembles the Tiffany color, which was this green wave that I ended up finding here. And I also found a white color, an ultra white that I decided to use as well. So those are my two colors. And then I just looked for a nice shade of pink to put with it. I'm not painting a pink wall, but I'm doing pink accents. So I figured finding a pink color just to put with the white and the blue would show me how it all went together. And I actually think it looks really good. I also looked at the wood pieces that I thought I was buying today, but Clearly, as I suspected on my way over here, they are too long to fit in my car. So I just looked at the prices and looked at the different styles to figure out um, what design I wanted to go for. But I wasn't able to get them today, so I will have to come back to get them um, tomorrow. Okay, so before I get started with the painting, I did just want to show you guys... Um, this here that I did so I, I kind of did this on a whim I knew it needed to be done but it was like I didn't record it because it was I, I had to get it done or I wasn't going to do it so here it is it's basically the outline hold on let me close this door so you can see the whole thing it's basically the outline for how I want my paneling to be or how my paneling is going to go on the wall so um don't mind all the nonsense on the wall it's a lot going on but i did try to tape it out as good as i could I, i'm noticing now that this i don't know if you can tell but this here from like here down is crooked it's like on a slant so i'm gonna have to redo this but yeah so this is the outline this is what my paneling is going to end up looking like prayerfully fingers crossed um <laughs> if everything goes well it will look like this it will be outlined like this and it will be in the tiffany blue color that i found everything else is going to be white i did want to show you this because i did not record this but basically what you have to do is measure out your wall um the top piece of tape is basically the what's it called mm a chair or something whatever my top my top piece of wood straight line is going to go straight across um so that'll probably be the easiest part and then basically what i had to do down the bottom is measure the whole wall and then divvy it up i messed up because and this is why i didn't record it because i got very frustrated by the process but what you have to do when you measure your wall is account for all of the extra space so all of the spaces in between the spaces on the ends and the spaces on top and on bottom. And so if you can see, what I didn't do at first was account for this outlet right here. Um, and so when I measured it, it was like right beneath the outlet, but I didn't want to do that. So I had to retape, remeasure, and I put it, decided I'm going to put it right above the outlet, but I'm hoping that it comes out the way that I want it to come out. Because if you notice, the tape is like right on the outlet. So I don't know. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm concerned about the whole thing because I've never done this before, but um, I've watched a, a number of videos and it doesn't look hard at all. I just have to be very, very patient. And that's like one of my shortcomings. So <laughs> we're going to see how this goes. What I'm going to do since I can't get my paneling today because it wouldn't fit in my car, I have to wait till tomorrow. So what I'm going to do today is just paint all the other walls white. So yeah, all this is going to be all of these walls, this wall, this wall, and then this wall with the window is going to be white. Above the tape is going to be white. And then my outline here in the paneling is going to be the Tiffany blue color. So I'm hoping that it comes out the way that I have it worked out in my head. But since I can't do the paneling until tomorrow, I think I'm just going to paint all the rest of the walls white. Since there's nothing on these walls, I could just paint it and be done with it. And then tomorrow, once I get my um, 
wood moldings, then I could do the paneling and paint the blue color. Just a little word of advice. If you are going to paint, do not be like me and get this plastic covering because although it is cheaper than everything else, it is the most annoying. So be smart, <laughs> get the drop cloth because it is much easier than this stupid plastic. And this is the paint I used, um, screenshot it because I don't know. <laughs> Basically I went online and this was like mid range between all of the brands. And when I went to get it from Lowe's, the guy said that that was the best brand for what I was doing. So that's the paint I got. <laughs> So although it looks like it, this is not my first time painting. Um, if you are not new to the channel, then you know I painted the walls in my walk-in closet in my previous home edition series. Um, if you didn't watch it, then make sure you go back and watch it after this video. Um, but clearly I didn't learn anything from painting in there because <laughs> I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like with painting, I don't really enjoy painting. So I really just be trying to get it over and done with. Like I just, I start painting and there's no method to the madness. But I would say that if you're painting, for one, make sure you take these light switches, um, the, the covers off. Because as you can see, I didn't do that. I always tell myself I'm going to be able to paint over them and then I always paint on them, as you can see. <laughs> and then I have to replace them. So take them off before you start painting. That's one thing. And then the other thing I would say to paint the edges the tops the bottoms the sides the corners before you paint the rest of the wall it's so much easier to paint there first rather than painting on top because as you can see the bottom where i'm painting now is brighter than the whole top of the wall that i just painted so now i have to go over the whole wall again but if you do the edges first and then go over when you're doing the whole wall it blends in much easier so it may sound crazy, but when you're painting, it'll make sense. Just make sure you do the perimeters first. So altogether, it took me about four hours to do the whole room minus the bottom half of this wall, um, which wasn't too bad. I did take a couple of breaks, but not really long breaks just because I didn't want the paint to dry. Um, I did two coats and then I came back and added a third coat just as a personal preference. Because this is paint with primer, I definitely didn't need the third coat, but I just wanted the third coat for the color to pop a little bit more. So that is what we did. Um, I, like I said, I don't like painting, but we got it done. 
So I'm actually glad this is out of the way because I have no idea what's gonna happen with this paneling and painting the bottom half of this wall. So we're gonna stop at the painting for today, but hopefully I will see you all in the next video when I do my paneling and paint the bottom half of this wall, okay? So make sure you like the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know how you think the white turned out. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss part two of my home office okay thank you so much for tuning in and not too much on the blinds i am getting new ones okay <laughs> see you in the next video